Hey guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed my kind of silly video that I made last time about uh, collecting sealed games and selling sealed games. But uh, as it turns out, I actually do own some sealed games, and um, they are right here. And uh, these aren't games that I like uh, actively collect for. I mean, I don't like try to collect sealed games, um, you know, on a normal basis. These are kind of ones that I've just either happened across or just saw like a really good deal on it, so I thought I'd grab it, you know. And uh, before I get into these, though, I got a mystery package yesterday uh, from England. And uh, I recently ordered off eBay some like CDs from England. So when I first got this out of my mailbox, that's what I thought it was. I said, oh, my CDs finally came. And uh, I opened it up and it was not a CD. It was Buffy the Vampire Slayer here. And I was just like, what is this? You know, why, why did this come? And my, my first thought was that the people that I ordered the CDs from had just sent me like the wrong item, right? I got this game. So I got on eBay to like complain and I'm like, no, wait a minute. Uh, this isn't the same name, you know, this is someone that I don't recognize. Uh, and the address is to Filberto78, which is not my my eBay uh, name or, you know, I, I always use my real name when I get something shipped to me on eBay. But uh, this is from Rob in the United Kingdom, and there's no note inside or anything. I, I don't know who Rob is. Uh, I guess he just sent me this game, though, and I was thinking, like, why would he send me Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Uh, I mean, it must be someone that, that watches YouTube. And the only thing I can think of is on uh, Fancy Action Now's video, I think he did one called like In the Buff, where he, where he found this game in a in a thrift store, I made a comment down below saying, hey, you know, I am jealous of that Buffy the Vampire Slayer game, because the one I found at the thrift store didn't have the manual in it. Uh, so that, that's the only reason I can think of, like, maybe, the, maybe this gentleman Rob saw that comment and just said, hey, I'll send Filberto uh, a, a copy of this game. I, I don't know how you got my address, man, but uh, thank you. Uh, I, I can't do anything with this um, game because it's, you know, the PAL version, obviously. But what I can do is take the manual out of it and I can make my copy here whole. So look at that. Totally random day where I get packages of the eBay <laughs> or packages of the mail from uh, people I have no idea who they are. Anyway, that's I thought that was just kind of an interesting thing I want to show you guys and, and thank Rob if he's watching. And um, yeah, so now I got a complete copy. Put that back on my shelf. All right, so now to the seal games. And like I was saying, I don't actively collect seal games. Um, I kind of put these in order of like how least valuable to most valuable they are. And um, the, you know, I don't really view seal games as like an investment usually. Um, you know, they're not something like I'd buy uh, normally. Well, with, with the exemption of like one or two of these, I, I don't buy them thinking like, okay, I'm gonna hold on to these and you know, Someday I'm going to retire off these games, right? I don't do that. But uh, most of these are, are just ones I came across and just couldn't pass it up, basically. So we'll get started. Number one, uh, this I just got a few weeks ago, actually. I saw it on eBay. New and shipped, $6, couldn't pass it up. And, um, you know, that's about what it's worth. But I thought, hey, a brand new sealed PS2 game, I can't pass up on that. And I own, I own most of these games, uh, you know, non-sealed anyway, so these aren't ones that I'm like, you know, not playing because I don't want to unwrap them or anything like that. And we got a copy of, I can never say this right, Dai Sen, Sen Kairaku, no, Sen Rayaku, I don't know. <laughs> it's like a Japanese uh, strategy military game. Uh, I own this for the Xbox, actually, but I don't have the PS2 version unsealed, just this guy. And this one's, you know, not too pricey. Uh, I actually wrote down, like, 
on a pricecharting.com how much these are worth. You know, just the random price that they give you. So, I mean, it's not going to be like exact what you could actually sell these things for, but yeah, this one I got wrote down $9. So, I mean, it's not a huge collector game or anything like that. But in the future, who knows? Now, this one is actually one of my favorite racing games on the PS2. So, I just grabbed a, a sealed copy because they were so dirt cheap. I think I got this for like six bucks a few years ago. You know, can't, can't pass that up, right? And this one is, it's actually, it's gone up in value a little bit. It's $11 new uh, now, so not too shabby. What we got next, we got a Gran Turismo 3. Uh, now, I, I found this at Goodwill, actually, and it was packaged with the strategy guide for it. So I was pretty excited to see this. And I've got my own, uh, the strategy guide for it in the other room. And I've got, you know, a, a regular greatest hits copy of this that came I think it might have actually came with a PS2 I bought like way a long time ago. So I, I played the death out of this game and I don't need to open this. So I will just hang on to it and who knows? I don't know what I'm going to do with most of these in the future. <laughs> Here we've got Grand Theft Auto 3 and Grand Theft Auto Vice City. And I remember I saw these on eBay a few years ago and they were just super cheap. So I said, okay, I'll, I'll grab these. Um, Cause these are, you know, wonderful games to have anyway. And I notice on the back here it says part of a set on both of these. So I think these were originally part of, um, you know, some kind of like box set they had with these two games together. And uh, I don't know, there's, they were sold separately though, so I guess they made a bunch of these. And those are both worth uh, Grand Theft Auto 3, 12, by City 14. You know, not, not crazy amounts. Next we got Shin Megami Nocturne, and I played this uh, a year ago or two years ago. I, I had it on my Halloween episode, if you guys saw that. And um, this one was actually really cool, so I said, hey, you know, I'll, I'll pick this up sealed. Uh, you know, I, it was like really cheap when I bought it. Um, you know, sometimes you just get these deals on eBay and no one else is looking at them, and you just you know, get them for like the, the starting price sometimes, and I think that's what happened with this one. So I just grabbed that one. I'll, I'll probably just hang on to this one because I like the game. Here's another one that I just hang on to because I like the game. This is Draken. And I probably haven't played this one for almost 15 years, but I remember I, I enjoyed it uh, when it first came out. Um, and this one was another one that was just super cheap on eBay, so I grabbed a, grabbed a sealed copy of that while I found that opportunity. Uh, Shin Megami Tensei, uh, Shin Megami Nocturne, that one's 18 now, and Draken is 20 now, so going up a little bit, I guess. And this one, I got off <laughs> eBay too, and I don't think anyone really looks at like 3DO sales anymore. Um, you know, I don't really shop for 3DO on a, a regular basis, um, but I saw this, I think I got it for like under ten dollars it was super cheap and uh i have a disc only copy of this so i can play it but i'm just going to hang on to this one and um this one the price charting says is worth 28 so 3do sealed this is not something that you would ever come across at a garage sale i don't think <laughs> next up we got rogue galaxy and this is one of the you know level five games that was made for the PS2. Uh, very cool. Um, I've only played just a tiny bit of it, but this is one that I wanted to grab a copy of just because I thought, you know, it's such a unique PS2 game. And uh, I'll probably just hang on to this one too, unless it gets, you know, like super expensive. And who knows, then maybe I'll just sell it and, and try to get another game. Got a Gun Valkyrie game. Now this one I remember, I. I actually just got this by mistake. Um, I remember there was about a, a period of just like three or four months. It wasn't very long, and this was about four years ago. And I remember the the Goodwill of Southern Nevada had just like opened up their eBay store, and they didn't really know quite what they were doing yet. But I figured out what was going on. They were posting up their video games almost at the same time every night and I would just be waiting there to 
buy them almost immediately when they would post them up because you'd be finding like copies of like rare role-playing games and stuff um, that they were just throwing up literally for like a third to half a price of what they'd be going for usually. And that's actually about where half my PS2 role-playing games came from. They came from this Goodwill store just off of eBay. And um, I didn't actually want to buy this one sealed. Um, they just listed it as an acceptable condition, you know, no, no pictures or anything, but they sent me this uh, sealed version of Gun Valkyrie. And uh, I forget exactly what I paid for it, but it was dirt cheap at the time. And now it's worth uh, 36 bucks sealed, so pretty cool. And that actually happened with one other of these two, which I'll, I'll show you in a second. This is Metal Saga. Uh, this one goes for 40 now. I bought this uh, for like 15, I think, a while ago. And this is another one where it's like such just a random uh, role-playing game that I thought, hey, I'd, I'd prefer a sealed copy of that uh, just, to, just to have. And um, I think, yeah, I've got an open copy of this already, which is waiting to be played. But, um, you know, I, I just played a little bit of it and said, hey, this, this could be, you know, a cool one to just have, have down the road. And this one I found at Goodwill. This is, it's not like sealed with plastic or anything, but it's, you know, hasn't had the tabs popped off yet. And this is Dragon Quest VIII. This is another level five game for the PS2. Uh, I've never played it, to be honest. I just, you know, tried it out for a few minutes, but uh, I bought this at Goodwill for like 10 bucks. And I said, dang, you don't see sealed games at Goodwill every day. So I had to have it. And this one's worth 44 now. And I, I kind of like these these unusual PS2 games where they come like with a box. And a, I think there's like a book in here too. So I'm just going to hang on to this one. Um, probably not going to sell it. And here's another one that Goodwill sent me by mistake. This is uh, Raw Danger. Oh no, I'm sorry. This isn't one I got by mistake. This is one I got at a pawn shop. And uh, I think I paid like 10 bucks for it. And uh, this one I have uh, up there too. I, I have played it. It's very goofy and very fun. Um, and very unique for a PS2 game. This one's worth 42. And this one I actually remember buying uh, brand new off the shelves at like Target or something back in the day. And um, I was planning on playing this, but then I came across like a, a used copy or something. So I just never opened it and I've had it ever since then. And to my surprise, these original Halo games, if they're still sealed, they're worth 50 bucks now. So, uh, you know, I'm not trying to sell it right away, but I think it's, this is kind of a, game that I might just keep for a while too because I, I actually bought it in the store, you know, <laughs> so it was kind of a cool memory to have. And you know, I don't I don't need like a lot of money off my games. I'm selling stuff on eBay that I find a good one anyway, so I don't really have any need to sell any of these uh, SEAL games I have. Um, you know, it's just something I, I hold on to f for fun or, you know, like just as like a game, because uh, for those of you who don't know, I, I do investing in, as my regular work anyway. So when I pretend I'm like investing in video games, it's just kind of a goof, you know. Ah, now this is the one that Goodwill sent me by mistake. Um, I remember I bought this thinking it was just, you know, an acceptable copy again, no pictures or anything. And they sent me Klonoa 2, brand new and sealed still. And this one I was like, wow, I can't believe they didn't figure this out. Uh, this was expensive at the time I bought it. Uh, it was probably like three or four years ago too. Um, like I said, whenever that uh, Goodwill Southern Nevada <laughs> just opened up. And I remember I bought it for like, I think it was around $10. It was like nothing, you know? And uh, this game now is worth over a hundred dollars. Um, I, I wrote down 103 here and uh, you know, so it's like one of the more rare PS2 games now, I guess. And last, this is the most valuable game I own, uh, either sealed or, or unsealed. This is Haunting Ground. And this is the one that I kind of like bought as a, a, only the only one that I bought like as an investment, right? Because I already have an unsealed copy and 
I bought it at the time because I'm like, wow, this is one of the more rare PS2 games and I want to grab it, you know, while I can uh, before it goes crazy expensive. So I bought it, uh, played the game for a little bit. I haven't gone through all, all the way through, but it's a very high quality game and it's one of the more sought after ones on the PlayStation 2. So I grabbed it and I remember thinking like, wow, you know, these sealed ones aren't too expensive yet. Maybe I should just buy one and, uh, you know, see what it does in the future for fun, right? So I paid, I remember I paid 90 bucks for this off eBay when I bought it. And I turned out to be correct, because this one is, uh, it says 285 now, but I looked at the, like, the ones that are selling. I've seen these go up for up to $400 on eBay. Uh, and that's pretty crazy <laughs> for a PS2 game, but that's just what these games are, are becoming now, man. I don't, I don't know why, um, you know, a sealed game is worth so much more than an unsealed game. I think probably the, the saddest kind of collector is just someone who collects sealed games and, and doesn't even play the games, who just has them up on the shelf sitting there and, I mean, what do you do with them, you know, you, you can't play them, you, you just, if your friends come over, I guess, you, you show them off or something and then the five minutes is over and then they just sit there, you know, forever again. So I don't know. I don't know why people do it. I don't know why people go for like sealed collections of like whole systems sometimes. I never met anyone that that actually do that, but uh, I can imagine, you know, because there's all kinds of crazy collectors out there. There really are. But that's all I got for you today, guys. And um, I hope you have a good one. And thanks again, Rob from the UK. See you later.